So, down at Largs, at the lifeboat station, come right down the ramp, until a bit right next to the water. There's my knee, it's this safe, a few inches up from where the water's lapping up the ramp. So. Across the craig is visible, but finally we've got it on a day. Oops! Finally got it on a day where there isn't a ton of refraction, so we can see the actual shape it should look from this distance instead of the way it looked. The day that Dell took his video, and then an earlier video I took, where I had the same atmospheric conditions. There you go, looks a break. As it should look. And no, that's definitely not all of it. Which I'll show when I'm about to move down the coast. I'm down at the waterside hotel between Largs and Ardrossan. Water's out, I'm standing on the beach that's exposed. I'll show you how much how far out it is. You see some seaweed there, exposed rocks, etc. So Got a tripod here set up. Just about to put the P900 on it so that we can have a look at Bills Craig.
So I've just come down from the water side, done a bit of video there. I'm at our drossing. You can see I'll, I'll spin, spin round, you can see. Tides out, beach exposed, sunset. You can see my location. So there you go, I'll draw in to Ailsa Craig. Okay, so I'm up the hills, up above where I was before, you can see Elsa Craig. There you can see the piece sticking out where the lighthouse is situated. Because it's a little bit more exposed now that we're up higher. Just the same as before. So increase the elevation, you can see more of the island. If I can see more of the island, obviously when I'm down low and these pieces aren't here, it's being cut off, so perfect example of the coverage of the earth and the lies of flat earthers who claim they're seeing all of it when they're down low. Because it's sunset, what's going to happen, either it will have started or will start soon, is that the lighthouses around here will start to come into operation, so that's the lighthouse on Holy Island. There's a lighthouse just out in front of Aaron, can't remember the name of it at the moment. And obviously there's the lighthouse on Ailsa Craig, which is on this this what looks like the little flat piece sticking out to the left, there's a lighthouse on there. So there's a few lighthouses that will come start um, operating soon. And from this elevation, if I'm here while they start, I should be able to see the lighthouse on Ailsa Craig. But I know for a fact from being down low, I've been in I've been down here, I've been down at Trun and whatever, and you can't see the lighthouse in Elsa Craig when you're 20 odd miles away, but you can still see Holy Island, which is closer, I think something like 15, 17 miles, and so on. So I'm going to hang around for a bit, I'm going to take some photographs, hang around for a little bit. If the lighthouses come on, I'll take some video and images of that as well. Okay, as I was just saying, it's the lighthouse on Elsa Craig. So this is what I was talking about, as part of the island which is visible from high elevation. It's distinctive because of the shape of it and because it has a lighthouse on it. When you're at lower elevation you cannot see that lighthouse, which I will show soon. Um, let's see... There's Holy Island active as well. Just caught it there, it'll probably be 30 seconds before it comes back on. I'm just going to look around. And okay, so that's Elsa Craig. Lighthouse. Island visible because of a high elevation. And then Holy Island over there. 
see him again. Right, I've come back down the hill. You can see there I'm right across from the horse aisle. That's Holy Island. The lighthouse on Holy Island. You can see it no problem. There you go. And there's the Craig. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the other one? Yep, you can see that. That's, uh, I forget the name of it. There's another lighthouse there. And just spin around. There we go, close to Craig. Can't see the lighthouse. I'll just let it sit here for a bit. You can, you can tell you can't see the little flat piece at the bottom of the island. Sorry, I'm doing the tripod because I'm trying to stop be quick. jump around a bit but no nope, no lighthouse see the rest of the island you can't see all the way to the base of the island the same as it looked from up in ele the elevation which is the, the hill just up behind us here obviously I'll point this out again on Google Earth so nothing no lighthouse from this point tide is out still let me just zoom out a bit and I'll show you where I am so you can see the tides out there. Somebody walking along the beach. There's some people coming to the water on the path. Spin this way. So you can see all I've done is I've, I was up at the hills, over that way. I've, there's a road that runs along towards West Cobride. So I was up behind these hills here, and all I've done is run down here. It's literally taken a minute to get here or something like that. Just very, very quick. But all it is is a change in elevation, and due to the distance, there's enough of an effect for the curve to have a lower portion of Ailsa Craig hidden. It's about 32 miles away, and you cannot see that lighthouse. I'll just leave the camera trained on it, just to prove the point. No, it's, it's obvious we can't see it, but. I'll leave it for at least another, you know, long enough that it would uh, fill in the gap of, you know, if there's maybe like 30 seconds between the pattern or something like that. Nothing at all. Way past that point now. And we swing back around. Holy Island. There we go. No problem at all because it's much closer. And the other one that sits at the end of that, and I can't remember the name of, is visit. And this is, if you look up the details on Ailsa Craig's lighthouse, you will see that the operational distance is about 20 miles 
and as I say I'm 32 miles away here roughly standing at our draw soon. Or at least it's 32 miles when you're standing up the hills, so we'll say it's 31. But the point is, it's a greater distance than it's stated that it should be visible at. And you can see the island, no problem, so you can tell it's not a visibility thing. I've just shown it in both locations, you can see it's still sunset, it's literally just a few minutes apart. The only difference is elevation, it's visible from high up not visible from low down, it's low tide, it's curvature. <laughs> 